Happy Thanksgiving. Um, yeah. Uh, so I wanted to do a video on Thanksgiving, particularly because I started to study Korean a year ago today uh, when I uh, purchased the Rosetta Stone Black Friday deal. They have another deal going on. I'm going to purchase it. <laughs> I still have a prescription, a prescription, a subscription with them currently. So if I so choose to study uh, with Rosetta, I, I can do so. But I'm not so motivated to do that <laughs> lately. Um, I, I'm, I, I studied uh, just to give a, a brief summary. I did study uh, a year ago. I studied Korean very intensively and effectively. I think for for four months. Um, but. After those four months, I went made plans to go back to Japan and everything kind of went back to Japanese and not Korean And until about one or two months ago when I um, was kind of just thinking about my Korean and thinking how I, well, I want to make progress in Korean and so now I'm back into it. Um, so last night, uh, oh, I'm using, a, the, the I'm still using Flashcards Deluxe. Uh, I'm still doing, I don't know um, how interested people are in uh, study methods and uh, apps and in a spaced repetition in general. Um, I'm pretty happy with the system I have uh, where I've got two decks. One is a production deck that um, basically I get the interval of the uh, uh, cards up to three days and then it goes away. Um, it's not an exact science. Um, yeah, so, but but I basically uh, study it for about three, you get the interval to three days, which generally takes me about one week to do, um, depending on the card, on how difficult it is for me. And sometimes there are leeches, but um, you can still fight through the leeches because uh, once you get to the three days, the interval to three days, it's gone, the leech is gone, and it just maybe took a, a little more time to get through, but you got through it. Whereas with uh, other spaced repetition, um, maybe there's no end to the spaced repetition. It just, the interval just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger, but if it's a leech, it doesn't go away. <laughs> so you, you got that leech up to one week interval, and then it's back to being a leech again. So yeah, so with the three day limit, uh, that doesn't happen. It, I keep, I will move on to new material. Um, it's going okay. Um, it, I've been doing it for a couple, two or three weeks now, and uh, I can see myself getting a little bored with it, and I have to be careful on how many leeches I do add at once, because if I get excited and add too many new cards, it is overwhelming. Um, the other deck is the sentence deck, where I'm mostly getting sentences from how to study Korean. Um, that's going okay. I, I have, I, I'm trying to be, to, to keep it uh, fresh and interesting, I change the, um, the, the formula a little bit so that the intervals between studying is a lot higher than the default. And I think that's that's better and very necessary because I'm uh, the website, uh, how, to, how to Study Korean, basically gives way like thousands and thousands of example sentences. And I would love to get through that material, but um, using the uh, default algorithm to study um, to study that, that material would just take too long. There's too much reviewing involved. So I'm trying to figure out how to balance that so that I can get through the material, but still use a spaced repetition algorithm to make sure I, I, I do view it um, enough times for it to be useful, uh, to, to stay in mem my memory and to move, uh, you know, to move my Korean along. And the most recent thing for Korean is I purchased Harry Potter, um, the ebook version from pottermore.com. I don't know where to buy Korean ebooks but then I remembered there's Pottermore you can buy all the Harry Potter books and all the translations and they have the audiobooks etc uh, unfortunately no Korean audiobooks I did remember looking for not finding it but at the time not being interested in ebooks now I am interested in ebook I bought it uh, all I think it's seven volumes and it is uh, uh, for a beginner that is a huge amount of material it was about $60 I am going to attack it <laughs> And I plan on using Link. I tried just because I know the story. That's specifically why I'm doing Harry Potter. I have, I'm such a noob. I need to know the story, I think, um, to get to, to be um, recording again. Uh, my app stopped me there. So, uh, yeah, I need to know the story uh, so that I can actually learn the Korean. Because I, um, <laughs> if I don't know the story, I don't know what's going on. And I look a word up and it's a little bit out of, con well, out of context to me because I don't know what's going on. Um, I will get limited benefit. I will still get benefit um, depending on, because uh, obviously your understanding of, of the context will go up and down as you read a book. Um, but it will be way higher for Harry Potter because I know the story. And um, that's why Harry Potter. And also because I don't know where the hell else to look to get ebooks except on pottermore.com in Korean. I will look. 
<laughs> I get bored of Harry Potter. It would be nice to have other material, uh, but I'm very, I'm actually a little excited and curious to see how it goes uh, to actually read a book in Korean. That's always the a huge step for me to uh, read a book in a foreign language when I tackle a new foreign language. Uh, with Japanese, it took me uh, several years to read the first book of Harry, of, uh, was it Harry Potter? The, the first book in, uh, in the series in, uh, in Japanese took several years and I was obviously very happy when I finally finished. I basically would study, uh, read it, like read a chapter which would take me a week or so, um, like a week, a couple weeks and then it was so hard then I would just kind of not do it, not read the next chapter for a while. So it was very um, sporadic and I hope I am less sporadic with the Korean. There is no kanji uh, with uh, uh, or ch Chinese characters or hanja, uh, whatever. Uh, there are spaces between the words. It is a lot easier. Uh, the writing system is way easier than Japanese. Um, I think until you study Japanese and you, for real, <laughs> um, you cannot appreciate just how terrible their writing system is. Um, if, if it's like you, you, I mean, for any language, it, when you learn to read it, if you can already speak it, that's really the idea. It's really uh, the writing system is designed for for uh, native speakers um, in any language. Uh, for for sure, for English, the spelling our spelling system is a little chaotic. There's definitely patterns, but it, there's exceptions, and it's it's not not so kind uh, to uh, foreigners, but it is way kinder than. Um, the Japanese rain system. Yeah, anyway. So I'm excited about Korean. Um, I will definitely want to make more videos about my progress with that and the results. And uh, so that's the biggest thing. Uh, another step I'd like to do is to actually do language exchanges in Korean with Koreans online. But uh, right now, um, all I can do is cultural exchanges in English. Very limited Korean. Yeah, uh, it doesn't help my Korean per se. I, maybe my motivation a little bit because having someone, uh, potentially someone to talk to in Korean by having building a relationship is good, but so limited. Um, I will work up to that. If I can actually have even just a very basic conversation in Korean, just like, oh, I'm American. These are my hobbies. Uh, this is where I live. Um, like a good 10 minute <laughs> conversation <laughs> for when you meet someone for the first time. If I can get that, that same conversation which you can you can get down and then you repeat it because uh, if you go online to talk to people you often will speak to different people every time it's just the way it works uh, with the time difference um I could probably get a lot of practice, but I'm still not even there to that point yet. Okay, uh, that's all I have to say. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.